Okay, so by now you've glossed and you looked at each paragraph and said, this is the point of that paragraph. Um, if you haven't, if you're getting to the point where you say, I don't know, I'm, I have light in that, and then I have an expression, and then I'm talking about colors, and I don't know, there seems to be a lot of ideas going here. Maybe I could split them up a little bit uh, and develop those ideas more. Um, but look, what what... Uh, what's the point of each paragraph? And once you identify, I identified a couple, um, leaving some to the best, uh, leaving some to you. And then we go back here. Despite the burden of items illustrated, um, he paints the woman flying above the trees, her appearance night and tidy, while her vision remains fixed on something she's intense in reading. Um, how about, despite the burden of items illustrated, um, let me pause this and think for just a second. Sorry. As I looked at it a little bit more, I realized your thesis starts here. James Christensen is encapsulated the very tasks of a woman in his painting, The Responsible Woman. Um, what if we did this? Through um, his use of color. Um... I'm forgetting all the ones that you had. Um, the tools that she carries. Um, her identity as a mother. Whatever, whatever the rest of your um, reasons are, that your your evidence that you're using to prove this point. Um, then just move right on. I'd list all of them there, all of your paragraph titles, and say, he paints a woman flying above the trees, her appearance neat and tidy, while our vision remains fixed on something which she is intent on reaching. Then, your organization will hang together a little better. Um, because I'll know what your argument is, and it's uh, your stance is indicated there, and it's going to indicate the organization of your paper. I'm going to expect a paragraph about color, a paragraph about the tools she carries, paragraph about her identity as a mother, um, however you see that in the order that you're going to present them in the body of your paper. Uh, and that'll be a little easier for me. So those are the main things I'd work on, um, which are kind of the, the big, uh, really the, the global issues in your paper. One, that argument. Again, you've nailed the formal analysis. Now we just need to make it a historical analysis or an interpretation assignment by including that historical context. Um, so for argument, and that's where that comes in, uh, I would give it 50 out of 80 points, or, or 25 out of 40, but it's a 200 point assignment. Um, organization is where we'd focus and tackle next. Um, again, that thesis is indicating your point, but not anticipating the organization of your paper. And I think part of that is the organization of the body doesn't quite seem totally clear. Um, I, so I'd address that by, by glossing at the edge of each paragraph. What is the point of this paragraph? Why do I have it here? And once you can articulate that and put it in a, sec, in a sentence, then tack it on right at the beginning in a topic sentence here. Um, through his color, Christensen um, addresses and exalts woman or whatever. Um, and then I've got a topic sentence that's telling me this paragraph is going to be about color. I'm, um, this paragraph is going to be about color and it ties back um, to my thesis right up here. So those topic sentences become great tools. Um, so or, for organization, you've got 15 out of 20 or 30 out of 40. Um, your word choice um, is fabulous. Your voice is fantastic. Um, your surface features and conventions are great. Um, so for all of those, you've got 40 out of 40 points. So currently we're going to give you uh, 80 out of 100, which 200 point assignments, 160 out of 200. Um, so just those issues. If you're confused about either of those, come talk to me and let's, let's figure out, uh, figure this out. Um, thanks for sharing with me. I appreciate it.